What is Trigger's album called? Who? Trigger from Cork City. What is his title? Having a clue. Who's Trigger? He's a rapper in Cork City. Let's go to UCC. Let's go to UCC. Next. A I'm a rapper in Cork City. I'm not a rapper. They they didn't get the 50, but basically we want this man here. He said he's a rapper, so he's gonna freestyle for us right here. Give us something. Give us something. You wanna hold a back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Thank you, thank Give you. Give us I'm something. A, I'm a rapper about her. Come, come back. Okay. It's gonna be mad, yeah. Sorry. I'm ah! <laughs> I voted yes. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> Just for equality. <laughs> All right, I check this out, yeah. Yo. First time I seen you, I was like you're fine Out of all the girls, you the one to shine I kept hoping and wishing is one day you be mine But all I know is baby girl, you never gave me time That's why I wrote you this love letter just in a rhyme My love for you girl, like a freaking crime Cause all I need is an answer, just one line And I'll be yours forever, till the end of time And if you hear this, you know who you are Cause you're the only girl, brighter than the stars You've always rejected me faster than the speeding cars Yet then I show my my love, put your problems in my heart. That's balls right there, you know? Brat! 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 Yo. They talk about country like a young boy don't get defensive. The ops wanna pull up and chat, his bloody air force got left in Peckham. Kilo in the back of the whip, but the feds on me, but I'm still gonna check it. They say that I only do links, but I only do links if it's got connection. His teeth missing, tool in his mouth, told him certified dentist, he's still missing. Poking him out, no face, and they ask no questions. Pull up in a Gucci. What's the crack you're watching the lab TV and I'm here with Jay Ronick, he does the most, eats pussy like toast, that's Dyson. Tell him, what's happening, mate? Good boy, how are you? How are you I'm good, but uh, first I want to say, man, you look Dyson. You look fucking fresh to death. Fashion is important. You look fresh. When it comes to this rapping thing, fashion is important. You look fresh, mate. You look hench and fresh and handsome and fucking craps are dead. I got it for my stylist, Nikki. Do you know what she's my stylist? Shout out to Nikki, mate. She's talking to me as well. She's talking to me as well. Nikki started me as well. That's why he's complimenting me as soon as I came in. I was like, two great minds think alike. I'm telling you, mate. We got this shit down, but it's important to look good. All the time. All the time. More important to feel good on that. So you want to say? Feeling good is looking good. Yes, that's very true. Mm. You can't. Mm. You, you, if you feel good, you look good. Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, so I was, I was listening to your EP there, Fresh Prince of Cork. You know the vibes. Cork City, I'm here. I've landed. Zero two one. You know the vibes. Tell them, bye. Uh, my favorite songs uh, was uh, Porsche. And Porsche. Yeah. Do you like Tom Pete as well? Yeah. 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 Like a jet. This is a trend. I'll follow your ass. Give me respect. I am a max. I want a jack. I cannot flex. Fuck with my ex. Yeah, she give me sex. Yeah, scuba diving on the jet. See those ones, yeah, they're for performances. Like when I'm performing it, the crowd went crazy. When I did it, even like two weeks ago in Waterford, when I did it, the crowd was going crazy for those two tracks. I could see, yeah. like, I, I could see, mm. I, I could tell, like you know, the, like, that's that's definitely an energy jet. Because it's a proper mm. like mosh pit. It's a proper like mosh pit. Or something, you get what I mean? And um, people just really love it for the energy of, uh, that it brings to the music and stuff yeah. like that. So it's really good. And um, can't wait to do it now soon enough. And um, like in different crowds, in different stages, in different countries and stuff like that. So tell us what's happening with Genius since the last time we met. Since the last time we met, that was um, the beef with Tracy. It wasn't really beef, but that was the last time we spoke, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, since then, Instagram followers we go down. We hit fourteen k, uh, like fourteen thousand. Uh, what else? What else? What else can I think of? Just a lot of things, man. Like we're doing really, really good with the music. Uh, music video coming out on Sunday. It's gonna be called Local. It's coming out on Sunday. I delayed it for a while because um, so many people have gone to Afro Nation and things like that, and I didn't want to release it because, like, I'm thinking tactical wise and things like that you know yeah, it wouldn't so, be about to have a look at it yeah yeah because everyone's not kind of living their best life but uh, other than that a uh, music video out on sunday and there's more music videos to come as i'm film uh, i'm filming it currently and things like that and then uh, just basically more instagram videos we went viral on instagram um on my last on my s three vi two videos ago we went viral it was the I the rte one yeah we posted it up. It was basically me speaking Irish and things like that. I'm not really good at speaking Irish here, yeah, but I tried my best on the day. Yo, listen, Ireland, we're here. Basically, they pulled Jay Ronick out here in A, T, E, Fada, 
basically all I come stars con us a tattoo, Tommy Goma, Isni Lissagom, Ispini, Meshani, Ula. We speak Irish over here in Ireland and basically I'm here in the RTE center doing a bit of uh, entertainment to all of that. I'm gonna teach you, it says here, no climbing. Some people are gonna ask, how do you say that in Irish? And I'm gonna read it for you. Now you, siad, siad, drip. <laughs> Basically in Irish it says no climbing, please. Now you see a drip. And the video just took off. It got shared on RTE, their story, like the Instagram story and wow. everything like that. So we're currently on, from this time with the, uh, the recording, we're currently on 92,000. And then uh, still going up. Man, that's lit. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you then, so like the more followers you get and, and the more attention that you get, how mm. does that benefit your everyday life? Oh, it's, it actually gets harder. I'm not even going to lie. It gets harder just because you have to always keep up with the social media then, you know. You can't just kind mm. of blow up and then leave it go for a while like every day i have to try and come up with new content just to keep my fans entertained and to keep them all engaged and things like that so yeah. it does get harder every day but uh when you're a genius like me you kind of create things out of nothing yeah right that's what you have to do because mm. i <clears throat> i was i was actually thinking about this last night um yeah i was like Fucking, he's always on it. Like he just does it all the time. And like, I, I'm like, that's what it takes, though. That's the difference between you and a lot of people that I know, mm. or you and myself. Mm -hmm. Like uh, with Instagram, I'm like, I, I don't have a following and stuff, but I don't keep it up. Like, you yeah, know? no, I get what you mean. It's because people like you have to be creative. You know, you have to think of many ways to get people involved. Like. I can I get people involved with my entertainment even though I do music, do you get me? Mm. So either way I'm still getting two different fan bases coming into one. Because I am um, in the long run the entertainment will help me in the long run as well just because I could be doing movies, I could be doing acting, I could be doing drama, whatever it is like so music will always help me but then the entertainment side will help me with the entertainment side as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? So I'm not just a musician. No, well, I don't just want to be a musician anyway. You're an entertainer as well. I, I am. Yeah. I yeah. I'm an entertain. I yeah, like yeah. myself as an entertainer yeah. though, because entertainment is everything. It is it is music? It is acting? It is whatever you think it is. Like music is entertainment. Also. It's a certain kind of uh, personality. Like I can mm. obviously I see it in you because mm. you're you're very good with people and you're very confident. Mm. Oh yeah, you have to be. Well, I wasn't always confident. I used to be shy when I was younger. Like that's because I, I used to be bald. So when I was bald, I just used to never talk to no one. So from there on, once I started growing hair, I just grew confident. I became like the incredible host. Cause my dad never like, you know, African parents, they don't like high hair in like, when you're younger anyway. So I used to have like a fro and he just cut it all off. <laughs> I remember when he cut it off. I didn't go to school for a week. I tried to pull the sickie for a week. When I went into school, I wasn't talking to nobody. I was just sitting in my corner. Like it was as if I was a new, I was a born again Christian basically, <laughs> like, again, because I had to pick up things again. But um, since I started growing my hair, then and things like that, like I just get more confident. I don't like being bald because like I feel short or something. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. You probably like, don't get me, but yeah. No, I do. If I shave my beard, I feel ugly. Like, do you get me? Yeah, it's yeah, a confident yeah. thing, though. I gotcha. So I gotcha. Like it is. You are what? Like I think it's a mental kind of thing. You know, we probably are not like, but it's just me thinking. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel that. Yeah. I mean, I did um. It's funny you speak like that. It just makes me want to say, like, I did a gig about three weeks ago. Mm. I wasn't feeling myself at all. Uh, <clears throat> I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, right? And I didn't on the left or the right? Uh, it was actually the middle. Oh, uh, I, was like, I hate them ones. Yeah, down the middle. You know, <laughs> split out. <laughs> I mean, to pick a side, you know what I mean? Pick a side and get out. Yeah. But uh, this day, I was just wasn't feeling myself. And yeah. I wasn't feeling what I was wearing or nothing. Like, I get you. And, um, I'm a hard one of those days as well. Continue. So. I know your grand, was just, and it was just a hard day. I was like, oh, it's one of these days. I just don't like myself. Mm. I had to go do a gig like that in that feeling. But you know, you get on stage, you turn it on, and mm -hmm. you exactly, it. exactly. No, you're really good with the rapping as well, man. I really like what you're doing because you're confident as well. Have you always been confident? I've always been confident on stage. See how we switch that around now. I'm interviewing you. Hey, it's on, it's on, G. <laughs> nah, but have you always been confident though? I was always confident on stage, mm. forever and always. Mm. In life, not so much. Okay. Um, on stage, no matter what happened in my mm. life, stage, I was always confident. No, I respect that. I respect that because you're really talented as well. Thanks, honestly. Man. Somewhere, somewhere along the line, I made a decision that I would never do a bad show 
mm, mm, never mm. not come on stage. But you know, there's no such thing as a bad show. Yeah, I feel that. There's actually yeah, yeah. It's every true. show is a learning experience and things like that. You know, that's what people need to get into their heads. Like, there's no such thing as a bad show. It's not that you had a bad day. The crowd might not have been there. It's not you specifically. It's like the crowd might not have been there. The venues. You know, like it, there's a lot of things to think about when you're actually performing. Oh, Say if I'm performing here and there's like water spilled on the floor, I'm gonna think of the water on the floor. Like you know, I'm gonna be rapid, but I'm gonna be cautious of that because if I slip, I could still break my neck, or at least I'm going viral. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> so that's how I kind of. <laughs> that's how I kind of. That's how I think of stuff. Like honestly, I think of things like this. You know, I think of like if I'm performing, something bad happens to me. At least I'm going viral. Like I know now, yeah. In my head, I have. A hundred ways that I'm going to go viral when I make it big. Yeah. Do you get me? Say like when I make it to like um stardom, like when I proper make it. This is just me in the beginning and things like that. But I know in the future when I make it, I have things that I'm gonna be doing that's gonna make me go viral. Uh, because I planned it, but people are not gonna know it was planned. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a genius idea. It's always it's one way to always stay on top of the game. Like I can give you one example. For example. I'm going to be big, all of that I'm going to be performing, and um, one of my things is going to be, um, no, I'm actually going to say no, no, it. No, no, keep the secret. I'm going to say keep the secret. Save. It's actually a good one. I'm going to say it. No, no, keep the secret. Yeah, yeah it's, good. it's going to go viral. It's going to go viral. Don't tell us, because then it ruins the... the yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Like, uh, in, speaking of performances as well, like, uh, when, I, when I'm on stage, I'm thinking of, like, like that again, mm. with the water spilled on the floor. No, you're honestly, about, yeah. Also, as well, I have this extra sensory ability where mm. I can feel what's going on inside people sometimes. Do you think so? Oh, 100, man. I think that's called juju. I've been confirming it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called juju. It's called, it's called intuition, because, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I'm joking. Yeah, I continue. <laughs> but I can feel it sometimes. Yeah. So, sometimes then I get the, the, the an understanding of like three or four different people in the audience. Mm. I'm like, oh, this person's going through this, and I'm like mm. saying, Mm. Oh, this person's dealing with this. Mm. Okay, right, yeah. But it helps me actually it speak. Does, yeah, it does, it, it does. actually helps uh, bring them out of themselves because mm. you know what they're dealing with. You're very poetic, man. You're very. Po are you ever going to release like a song and like an EP or anything? Because you do release music, but have you ever? Uh, I have an EP on Spotify now. Do you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, how come you didn't tell me? Uh, did you share? Like, did you promote it properly and so? I, I promoted it as best as I could. And on Facebook, uh, Facebook, Instagram, life. I started going busking with my sign to let people know. I thought, what? That's very good. Now you're grinding, you're grinding. After that, then I was like, I don't I'm know. Sorry, what is it? Make sure people go watch it. See, oh yeah, that? it's called Understanding My Shadow. Understanding My Shadow. Is it? Do you just go by Baba? Baba Shakespeare. Understanding Baba Shakespeare. My Shadow. Cheers, exactly. Right. No, Legend. definitely, definitely. definitely. Uh, make sure you get that. Check it's it out, be a boy. Let me, let me. Oh yeah, tell me. I'm going to be you for that. All right. So make sure you check out Baba Shakespeare, Understanding My Fears. Is yeah. that it? My shadow, well, same thing. No, my shadow. A shadow of my... Understanding My Shadow. Make sure you check out Baba Shakespeare, Understanding My Shadow. It's going to be on Spotify and all the music. Yeah, everything. Uh, everything, okay? That's yes, because... <laughs> nice, so I, check it out, <laughs> I nearly threw you under the bus here, Understanding My Shadows. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine, man. <laughs> Essentially, it's about understanding my shadow. No, nice. makes sense, you know. Nice, nice. nice. The journey, the journey of insecurity to security, or mm. the unknown to the known, or the darkness to the light. Essentially, but like I will have to do like something like back and forth type of stuff, like where I'm understanding your problems, you're understanding my problems. That Sounds actually like sick. Be decent, yeah. Doesn't actually yeah, good. Yeah. So just like we're talking now, like yeah. but I'm understanding your problems. Like, that's actually a creative idea, you know. That'll be that's fun. how I think. Like, we can I have fun with it as well. Like. Exactly. <coughs> the definitely. best way to deliver truth is through humor. Exactly. Exactly. Very true. <laughs> um, so tell us what's what's the next show that you're doing? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to Indy tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I'm going to Indy tomorrow. I'm gonna do two two songs there. Um, I got that with Stevie G. Um, he's just going to be DJing and stuff, and he said he's going to get me two songs to perform and things like that. So it was really nice of him, and I'm uh, going there with him tomorrow. And then after that, we have a load of shows lined up, but I can't give dates okay. and things yet because um, we're trying to confirm the date. We're trying to plan it out perfectly so that we know exactly um, like what the crowd, what kind of crowd is going to come and things like that. Yeah. So we have a lot of a lot of shows planned. And they're coming very soon. And shout out to DBN because that's the group for me now. Go on, DBN, cuz. <laughs> DBN. <The> art. <laughs> um, <laughs> how does it feel then? How does it feel to be to be doing this? To it be feels good. Like it doesn't really feel like I don't feel the difference. I don't feel nothing. Like you got me. People are saying, "Oh, you're doing this. You're doing so big." Like I've been 
doing it already that it doesn't feel like a difference to me. Do you get me? Mm. Like me and you sitting here, we've done this already, but other people will be like, oh, I was just meh. Like, I don't feel a difference. I feel good. And then, um, because I have goals and I know I haven't reached the goals as of yet, yeah. but this is part of reaching the goal. Yeah. So I just feel the same. Like when you see me in the suit, you talk to me, all of that, I'm still the same person. You've been seeing from the Jiggy TV days, from Facebook days, whatever it is, I'm still that same person. That like, it's just in other people's eyes I'm doing good, but I know that there's a, a bigger level that I need there's to reach. To come, but yeah. I still feel good. Like every day I feel good, I'm doing my entertainment, I'm doing all of that, like nothing's gonna stop me. You're um, in your purpose, you know, you have to, you, I'm you here feel for like a purpose. Exactly, yeah. Do you remember the time when you were doing Jiggy TV? Uh, I do remember. Do you remember uh, on Patrick Street? Wow. <laughs> you were doing a prank. Uh, on <laughs> it, was, uh, I was th- it was on me. You did it on you? Yeah, uh, so you were doing the whole the hands prank. <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. <clears throat> Walking down the street. Uh, and I'm not the wiser. And the next thing is Jay holding my hand. And he's looking at me. And we didn't know each other at the time. And we kept walking. Though, and I was just like, all right, cool. And I just kept walking. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I had such a laugh of it. Because I was like, he was expecting me to freak out. But yeah, I was cool with it. Yeah. And he was like, what the fuck? Well, I kind of freaked out then. Yeah, I was like, boy, this is normal. <laughs> I'm like, the boys to put the video now. I was like, I don't know if this is normal. Like, okay, I'm a boyfriend now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was that was funny, man. I was funny. See, it's always been like that. Like people are always like, oh, how did he do it? Like, how did he get the followers? Like, how's he this big? But they don't see the Jiggy TV it's days. Great. Yeah, they don't see the Jiggy TV days. Well, they probably don't know it. Like, but they don't see the Jiggy TV days when we went viral and got shut down and everything like that. They don't see things like that. Like even before Jiggy TV, how. We used to just go around in Snapchat doing shows and things like that. Like we actually, like we took things into our own hands and we've been promoting each other since time. And people just don't understand how like I've got to this stage. You know, they think like, oh my God, like how did he get here? 14,000 views. I've only known him this year, but they don't know. They don't see the past. Like, yeah, they, they actually see the don't. Line. But that's what I realized though. And I don't really kind of like, I don't speak on that a lot because i already know where i came from i already know what i've done to get to this certain moment and things like that so you have to know how to separate your fame life from like your real life as well like not fame life but your social media life to your yeah, real I life as well, I you know? so i know exactly where i came from i'm humble and all of that like you know you can still talk to me in a normal way and all of that but i'm just crazy like you get me i'm a crazy person like i love my entertainment that's why i do it so freely it's not like a I'm being made to do it. I just do it for free. I feel yeah. If I was to if I was to describe you in a spiritual term in term in terminism, terminology, mm. I would say you're a high vibrational being. That's what yeah, I, that's I, what like I, that. I like that. I like that. I like that. And if yeah. I was to describe you, I would just say like passion. Passion. We got it by passion, yeah. fashion. Healthy rations. See, exactly, essence. exactly. Satisfaction. <laughs> the satisfaction. Taking action. <laughs> Eating pussy like toast. <laughs> yeah. All of that, all of that, all of that. Nah. You all look right. good, you look good too, man. Ah, it's man, just, fresh today. Everyone is, doing, everyone is doing good, yo. Shouts to the live TV, you're doing good. Upgrade. We're I remember when we first started, uh, when they first started, live TV was out in the streets. Now oh, look where we are, you know, we're doing bits. We're inside, bye. No, we're doing yeah, bits. we made we're it. Doing bits. We we're doing bits. Inside. We used to do interviews out in the rain, you know, like. <laughs> I used to get pneumonia from interviews. <laughs> but look what we are now. Like, Official, the lab TV made him sick, but... Everybody, nah, everybody's doing good, and I hope you have plans to do better again. You know I mean? 100, man. Mm. I have plans to do better in every every aspect nah, of my life. Honestly, you're doing, 100. Good, you're doing good. Check out the website as well. The website is looking nice. Um, we need to wrap it up now. Mm. Uh, so do you have a message for the people? Yeah, uh, listen, listen, just keep... Oh, oh, shit, I keep forgetting like this. Uh, I'm forgetting. <laughs> <Keep one. laughs> but listen, yeah. Oh, this one. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep eating pussy like toast. Keep doing the most. Fresh Prince of Cork. We are here. And more music on the way. Stay running through the most. I just like toast. Make sure you watch uh, all my stories. Make sure you watch all my feeds. Make sure you watch all my posts on Instagram. Everything is under Ronick underscore official. Hey, Black TV. We have DBN. Legend, by This fiend is decent. If you haven't heard of him, you've been living under a rock, by <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we're our class. It's just a journey to the why. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you follow my guy. <laughs>